Hi guys, Rick Damus with Cowtown USA here in Cuba, Missouri. Here this morning with the 2018 Lakota Bighorn. This is just the upper scale model of what Lakota has to offer, and this is even even upper scale model of that. A lot of features on this trailer. This is a eight wide, uh, 17 foot short wall with a super slide four horse. You can see back here we got the windows already dropped down. A lot of ventilation. You can see that this is the high gloss armor plating that runs the length of the that runs the length of the trailer. Uh, a lot of options on this trailer. We've opted this out also with a covered nose. Now this covers this covers your jacks, it covers your propane tanks, it covers your battery, it covers your spare tire wheel, and it's just a smoother looking application. And they've added on the length here, you can see this. Actually makes the trailer a little stouter having this in the nose as well. This unit is equipped with a power awning. Now there is no reason, no reason whatsoever to ever have an awning blow off of your of, off the side of your trailer because it's a one button. You don't have to get your bride and run it back and forth to do this. So if you're gonna leave camp for five minutes, just push the button and roll the awning up. You know, don't take the chance driving it off and, well, it's a pain to put up. No, this power awning makes it very, very simple. Uh, I'm going to walk you the length of the trailer. We're going to talk about tires and wheels. Up here also underneath the awning, you have an LED strip here. Okay. Let me show you this too. We've added an extra light here for your step, which is really neat, especially in the dark. This folds up and locks, locks down. Outside, radio speakers, another LED light for the outside, a porch light they call it. You sit out here, you want to have a box fan, 110 out here as well. You've got 8,000 pound axles on this, on this particular trailer, aluminum wheels, 17.5 radial tires, 16 ply radial. So, and, and, they're, and they're good years too. So we kind of got the ultimate going on here. Here on the ends of your hinges, you'll also notice grease fittings. Most of them don't have grease fittings. This big horn does. The strength on the doors too. A lot of them guys will have a bigger window, but when they have that bigger window, the, it barely is ringed with any aluminum at all. This is actually a box frame in this. It operates this simple. You can also slide it as well and you can lock it. One key locks up the horse compartment. Also has a light here in the center so you can actually see the middle of your trailer when you're making a turn in, in the dead of night. I'll bring you right here on the back. Here's something I want to show you. I want to show you the thickness of this hinge. Can you come up here? I mean, guys, that's probably at least a half inch thick hinge. I mean, that's huge. While we're back here, we're going to talk about taillights. Most trailers are standard with, with one taillight low. This one has taillights up high as well. All that means is when a car pick up behind you, two or three cars behind you, that the semi can see over those and see this upper, upper signal, brake light, signal light, runner light, to know exactly where you are and what you're doing. That way, you don't have anything in the back where your horses are. Now notice here also how, how large the door is back here. I mean, it's, it's over half the width. That's a, I mean, it, you can load a brood mare and baby in there. You can, you can put an ATV through that doorway. This wall also comes out and collapses as well. So if you want to put something even larger in there, you can. You notice it's got a full stud divider in here. You can actually put uh, your hay, your bed, lawn chairs, barbecue pits, something simple or you can keep that for your clothes. Kick your wet, muddy, dirty clothes off in that compartment as well. You can see up in the ceiling, it's insulated, fully lined, even the coals are lined. Have LED lighting here. This sh Let's see, this is gonna be for a switch. Let me find out what switch does what. Okay, there's your interior. There's your load lights right here. This switch right here is gonna be for the load light on this side of the horse compartment. So I'll turn these off. And notice how simple this is. It's a one-handed deal to lock. Lock or unlock with one hand. Really neat, no more padlocks. One key fits the entire back end of the trailer too. 
Okay, now this is a loaded, what I'd call a loaded rear tack. Lots of bridle hooks low, high, and on this wall. This is removable and adjustable and a swing out blanket bar here. Everything's lined with like a carpet liner that's resistant of mold. Uh, let's take you around here this other side and a brush tray. Notice how the the ladder comes out here, locks here at the bottom. Most of these you have to climb straight up to get to the hay rack. This particular one you don't. With, the, with this angle of the ladder here, it's a lot easier to climb. On this side here, this is your uh, 3.6 propane generator. But this has got a hay pot on it too, guys. It operates, <coughs> it operates this simple. You unlatch it there. You unlatch it there. One hand, you raise this up. But you've got a lot of storage up here. I mean, a lot of storage. It's it's floored as well as is is back here is floored as well with aluminum tread plate. I mean, if you had extra guests that showed up with sleeping bags, they could sure enough sleep here. All right, I'm gonna come back here. Close this down. Everything you put in here now is locked in, completely, se completely sealed. You can see here the size of this. This is going to be one, two, three, almost four foot wide and probably five foot long. So there's a lot of, a lot of extra storage in this unit. On this side here, we talked about the, the doors on the other side. I mean, you can see the flex in this door is little to nothing. Okay, you got screens and windows that'll open. Now this particular unit with your manger doors has storage under, or places to hang, places where you can hang your stuff too on this particular trailer. This is not standard on the trailer to do this with. So it's got this. Then you got uh, the 17.5, again, the Goodyear radial 16 ply. Then you come around this side, you've got a camper door lock so you can come in and out this trailer and deadbolt it behind you and a camper step here now you're also set up for your cable television on this side uh, and again full armor plating and all polished a window on this end of the slide out so you can get the cross ventilation on this particular unit uh, I think this pretty well wraps up the uh, the outside of it. I'm gonna take the inside. Let me show you the floor here. I'm gonna take you underneath the belly of the beast because I want you to see what, what you're getting. All aluminum frame, all aluminum floor. Look how close your floor supports are. So it's really put together well. Big axles, 8,000 pound axles, 16 ply radial tires as well. So we'll take it around the other, take you inside. Okay, bring you inside. Now again, I'm talking about this particular unit. This trailer's got quite a few options on it. Okay, one thing here, you have a, have a sliding screen door here. All that means for you is you do not have to deal with the screen door every time you go in and out, out of the camper. Okay, it's soft touch walls. And, and the value of soft touch walls, it's quieter to talk in here for one thing. A uh, second thing is if you open up a soda or ketchup, something splatters in here, you can take a wet sponge and wipe it down. Now, this unit is what we call his and her entry. So you can go up the right side, left side, however way you want to go. And at three o'clock in the morning, you're not trying to crawl over the top of somebody to get out to, to uh, go do what nature calls you to do. Okay, now you got storage here, flat screen TV here, and you got a fireplace here. Fireplace runs off 110, it'll also run off the generator. Now, uh, uh, people are gonna say, well, that's a little bit over the top fireplace, but you know when you pull these places and you, t you hook up, they charge you 30, 40, 50 dollars a night to plug into them. You can actually set the thermostat on this and it'll actually heat you set it 72 or 74 or whatever you want to set it on. It's thermostatic and controlled so you don't have to use your furnace. 
Another thing is if you get out and something would happen that the furnace would break down, and we've seen it do it in our own houses, and they don't, it's not usually a good time for it to break down. You have backup heat with your fireplace. And I guess, I mean, it's about a four or $500 option, so it's not like you spent $3,500. And it is cool to have a fireplace in your, in your, in your horse trailer. Okay, now on the back side of this, you got storage all the way around. You got your wooden valances, and this is real wood. This is not press board, guys. Real wood, and then it's set in here like with like a bull hide, all the way across this. You have storage up on each side of it, storage up on the front, and then you have 110 plug-ins. You can see up there in the bed, and then up in the top of this, above that pillow, you can see that's a pop-up. Let me see here if I can crawl up here. Okay. Push this button here and it'll just disappear. But if you need more than 110, you got it up here. Oh, uh, let's see here. That is your connection right here, guys. So you can reach that from either side of the bed with your mirrors. Okay, and I'm gonna come here. You have your soft shades and you have what's called day and night. So there's your, your, your daytime, and there's your nighttime for privacy, which is which is really cool. Now this dude also has the recessed ceiling here which you can see the lighting. Okay, so here's your headlight, your lights for your head. Okay, reading lights. Your, um, I don't know what you call that. Okay, and there's your bright lights. So you just need a little bit of light there. You've got that mood lighting, I think is what they call that. Okay, and then to, uh, to the right, you can kind of see in the mirror, it's got a, it's got a flat screen TV set up for the bedroom as well. All right, now we're going to take you back into here, into the living room. Here you're going to be able to see uh, your one piece uh, bar, you have your, your bar stools, <clears throat> you have 110 here, okay, then you have storage here, and you have storage on the back side of this. So you have your cabinets. A lot of these companies won't have cabinets up here. You have a place here for your cowboy hats. In and out the door, they're kept here handy. And again, that's all solid wood too. You have dual sinks, a recessed cooktop, cooktop and, and an oven. Your oven here, and you have a convection oven, so the best of both worlds. Uh, microwave convection oven, so you can bake here as well. All right, now let me see. All right, now I don't know how that does that, but that's pretty cool. That's included on your on this particular Bighorn trailer. Now you've got a mirror here with your studs in it, and then a chair rail, and then your again your soft touch. You're going to come over here. Um, you have drawers for storage, and again, the drawers work like that. A lot of times here, they'll put their tanks underneath it. You know, this is not. So you have lots of storage. Your couch here makes into a bed, and, and it'll operate that quick. And you pull it back up like this, and that quick again. Okay, and I'm mentioning this outside, but I'm gonna mention this again. You're sitting here, You've got your, uh, your slide window over here, so you can actually open this up, go to the other end and open it up and have a good cross ventilation. A lot of these slide outs don't have windows on the end. They got them on the sides, but not on the ends. This particular unit has your, your, uh, your sliding window screens on each end of it. What do you think about this floor? Is this cool or what? Well, I'd like to have something like this in my house. All right, we're we'll bringing you through here. Now I'm going to talk to you about this this refrigerator. We call uh, we call a six o a big refrigerator. This is actually an eight. So you have lots and lots of storage in here, and your freezer up here. Okay, this runs on gas or electric. Now, so many guys when they when they build these. They'll come here, oh, if you want walnut, that's fine. We'll put a walnut sticker over this press board. You want cedar, that's not a problem. We'll put cedar sticker over this press board. This is actually solid wood. You can see the inlays. Standard on this trailer. Then you have a place here to keep your canned goods. 
storage all to the right hand side of this. Alright, now I'm going to walk you through here. This does not have a swing door, this has got a pocket door. So nobody has to back out of the way for you to enter the bathroom or, or, or to come out of it. Slides over through here. I'm going to bring you back here. Got a really nice round shower here. Uh, radius is what they call it. You've got your, your skylight. You know, if you're a little taller, give you a little bit of extra room here. Very pleasing to the eye. You come here. you got a double hanging closet here. All of it's lined here on the back side of it. Then you come here. You have drawers here, socks, wash cloths, my wife tells me. Cloth, not wash rags. Okay, then you got storage here. So a lot of storage, lots of hand closet. Okay, then you come over here, you got a, a big vanity, nice stainless steel sink, double mirror, lights above it. Then you have a, what they call a fantastic fan or a power fan here. And what you can do right here is come on this wall. If you, if you don't need to use your air conditioner, you can go in here, crack the windows beside your bed, come in here and set the fan on say 72. This will automatically open up, pull the heat out, start pulling air through your trailer, and a lot of times you don't have to use air conditioner. It'll cool it down and cool it down right now. When it gets to that certain temperature, it'll actually close itself and shut off. Two hours later, an hour later, 30 minutes, whatever it needs, uh, it'll understand the temperature, open back up, and cool it off again. Again, that's standard on this particular trailer. Uh, we're, we're out in the horse compartment now, and I wanted to show you here You're fully padded, fully lined, fully rubber lined over your aluminum floor. You're seven foot eight, eight inches tall, so even a little more clearance. Now the clearance on this trailer works really good as far as keeping your animals cool, because anytime you back that ceiling off from the top of their heads, because their ears up are close to the ceiling, and their brains up are close to that ceiling, it, it actually will cool it off because of the extra two or three inches in it. Now it's fully insulated, fully insulated on the walls, all your doors are insulated. Uh, your drop down doors in front, drop behind, it's, it'd be hard to imagine. Probably the only way you could hold them something cooler if you just hold them simply in the cow trailer. That would get you more flow through. Uh, again, here's your, your double wall finished door. And I'm going to walk on through here. Here's, you know, here's some detail. This basket weave upside here on this, the basket weave all through here and underneath here. It's just the fit and finish of the trailer is really nice. Well, I think I've showed you about everything I know to show you on the trailer from the bottom to the top, everything about it. Slide out, you just push the button. It's really, it's a really simple process. You come right here. I won't take up all the time doing this, but that's how simple it is. It'll come in and go click, click, you're done. Same way to, when you're ready to finish it, it's just push the button, go as far as go, click, click, and you're done. It's flush floor, so there's nothing to step over the top of. Uh, I really like the idea of the, of the dual entry in the trailer. Um, you can see the vents down here low, so you have your floor heat, and it's all the way back into the uh, AC ducted into the bathroom as well. Now here's something you don't see too much of here. Now this is another option. This trailer is or also got a, another deal here to pull the heat out while you're cooking and stuff right here guys you can turn this on um, you very rarely see see them have one of these in the living quarters other than the bathroom so that's another feature this trailer's got a lot of features a lot of things that this trailer is not normally standard with um, I'm going to point out the crown molding up here, the size of it is, is big. Now I'm not going to tell you that's bigger than a standard bighorn, but again that's bigger than what most come with. Um, again I think I've told you all I know, but you know if, if you, uh, any of the questions give us a call at 573-885-6300. That's 573-885-6300. Ask for Sean or Jack, or if they're uh, if they're busy, I can help you. My name is Rick. It's CowtownUSA, INC.com, CowtownUSA, INC.com, 2018 Lakota. They call it 17-foot short wall, super slide, four horse, all the bells and whistles. Thank you.